Welcome to this video. We are going to look at a graph which is crucial for understanding the photoelectric effect and importantly it helps us to understand the two different apparatuses that are used in the photoelectric effect. Right now my drawing on the bottom, my schematic, doesn't show either of the two apparatuses. In order to complete the apparatus I need to add a voltage source. The first voltage source I will add will have a positive plate connected to the collector C and a negative plate connected to the metal emitter M. So because of this connection the collector plate will acquire a slight net positive charge and the metal plate will acquire a slight net negative charge. When we connect the battery or voltage source like this, our main goal is to successfully attract and collect all of the negative electrons ejected from M. Let's write that down. When the connection is made like so, all of the electrons which are negative are successfully attracted toward the collector plate and they are captured. They can't be ejected off to the side and recombine with glass. Instead, we successfully capture every single one. Because of that, the current that leaves the metal plate, M, is equal to the current at C. The current leaving M we call the photo current. The current measured at C is actually being measured by the ammeter. So the current at C is what we actually measure with the ammeter. The graph that I've shown above is going to tell us how the current entering the collector plate depends upon the potential or the voltage applied to the collector plate. And as we've seen, when the voltage applied at the collector plate is positive, so this half of the x-axis, what do we get? We acquire a measurement that is equal to the photocurrent. So let's draw that into our graph. Let's, that should be a straight line. As long as we have some positive voltage applied at the collector plate, we always measure the same value which is simply equal to the photo current or the current leaving the metal plate. Now, on to the second apparatus. You've noticed I've taken away the battery or voltage source. Instead of putting the connection that I showed earlier, or the polarity, Instead of making the battery so that the positive side is on the right connected to the collector, we will flip the polarity, meaning the positive side, the positive terminal of the battery, will now be on the left. That means the metal plate is what will acquire a net positive charge. Again, there are still electrons, they're just outnumbered by the positive charge. So we can still eject electrons. It still is possible to eject electrons because they are in the plate. They're just outnumbered. With this connection made, now what happens is the electrons ejected from the positive plate, these electrons, are repelled by the negative collector because negative repels negative. Let's write that down. What impact does this have on the photo current? Well, the answer is that it depends on how big our negative voltage is at C. If the negative voltage at C is not very big, maybe that value, so it's negative, but it's not a very large negative number, only maybe negative 0.5 electron volts. If the value is small of the applied opposing voltage, 
then only some of the electrons that are ejected will actually stop before reaching C. Here's what that looks like. With a small negative voltage, the slowest electrons are sent out, and they're repelled, and they actually turn around before entering C. Because fewer electrons enter C, the current at C is a little bit lower than the true photocurrent emitted from M. So the collected current, or the measured current, is lower. As we increase the voltage at C to larger negative 1 and larger and larger negative voltages, as we increase the opposition, fewer and fewer electrons enter plate C because more and more electrons are being turned around. So the value of current collected at C drops. And I'll show you what the entire continuous graph looks like. It takes on this shape. The value at which no electrons enter because now none have enough kinetic energy to reach the negative plate. That value at which all electrons are stopped is called the stopping voltage or the stopping potential. When we reach the stopping potential, the current measured at the collector is zero because none of the photoelectrons are entering the plate C. So what happens if we increase the frequency? That's what the next video will take a look at.